All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mode of Miami. We're back in Anaheim. We haven't been here in a bit. Um, the event has grown so much. I'm very happy for everybody who's part of it. And uh, yeah, the cars have evolved. They're having themes now. But you guys know I gotta go with my my Hondas and these EF sedan is absolutely beautiful. See, I changed it up on you guys. I used to say gorgeous. I said beautiful this time. Wow, super cool. Ah, I really like it. Love the sense on it. Um, there was a video that went on YouTube many moons back, and it was a EF sedan. The guy was washing the car. And his kids were out playing and then he just took the car out to the woods and did some nice footage of it and it looked nice there's a cord it's on with the ac pretty cool to see a lot of people have taken a lot of uh, interest in this car so it's nice to see that they're modifying it but that ef sedan forever man that's nice so anyways uh anaheim once a month they have classic cars um at least that's what the name of the event this wasn't here so they now have it for vendors and for the businesses. I think there was a little bit of challenges or issues where the vendors or the restaurants nearby couldn't, you know, operate because obviously this entire block gets full with cars. So it's, it's super understandable. And so I think that's their compromise. They blocked this area. So now they can go ahead and conduct business while still hosting, obviously, attention from people that uh, come and showcase their cars or anybody that comes in, hangs out uh, to watch the cars, like myself uh, and you guys through the lenses of this GoPro. Look at this paint job on this truck, man. Now, I'm not gonna be able to get every single car. I'm gonna try to get every single car, but I'm probably not going to um, because it's really hot. <laughs> I had no other good excuse, but it's pretty hot. Look at this, manual on top of that. Wow, a lot of cool work to this truck very very nice 620 Ooh, sr picking in there oil cooler up front very aggressive with the fender flares five lugger okay look at that meat this guy's not vegetarian for sure <laughs> i love it i love the patina on the truck thick bullet hole uh sticker which is probably covering a real bullet hole. <laughs> Very cool truck, I really like it. I don't know what the theme is today. I think it's just bring your classic cars, a little bit off-roading here. Um, but yeah, I brought out the, the GoPro due to uh, popular demand. Um, not popular demand, I kept asking you guys if it was better to do the GoPro or just the DSLR. Um, and I get it, the GoPro is so much easier for me to just walk around. Get coverage of it. You guys know I like looking at suspension. That's so cool. Really like just staring at different type of suspensions. Uh, when it comes to like something that's uh, lifted or like hot rods, full custom, uh, it's nice. All right, it's a lot of people there. I'm not gonna go there. Um, hey, we saw this truck on the, not this one, on camera. I just don't wanna move it away from them. Let me see. That truck, we saw it rolling on the freeway. Um, when was it last week yeah last week the guy definitely knows how to drive it he's like slammed it and then um <laughs> he just <laughs> sparks everywhere so i think the theme today is mini trucking because otherwise we would have a lot of dots and things like that um so mini trucking is a theme today which is cool obviously we we enjoy all those type of cars land cruisers very nice and getting some nice angles there very cool Wow. Ooh, really cool. Let me get at the guy's ways. Wow. Second chance, second chance. 1922. There you go. You guys can pause it and read the story. It almost went to the junkyard. I am so glad it didn't. Wow. Very clean interior love it i mean it's a lot of work that you guys can do to trucks like this you know you can repulster the seats and why not <laughs> i'm gonna assume this is not stock wow 
Very nice. Cool. Man, how big this event grew from the very first time we came by. There was like 15 cars. Super cool. Mm. So, I'll ask you guys since you guys, you know, some of the people that are going to watch this video are not going to watch the wash and talk and vice versa. Um, on the last wash and talk, uh, oh, nice wheels. I was discussing what car would you be willing to pay over MSRP. Now, I said I wouldn't really pay for any new car over MSRP. I don't know, I'm just cheap like that. However, I would pay over MSRP or you know more for a classic car like a 63 impala um what car would you guys if they were to remake them today as is they wouldn't change they wouldn't like do it like a modern retro just like let's say they were to bring out the fc as is right there what car would you pay over msrp you know if honda was to say okay we're gonna do the ef sedan exactly the way the ef sedan was like exactly would you guys pay over MSRP? Would you guys pay extra, obviously, to get it built? Um, so that's a question for you guys. I don't know. I don't know what car I would pay, like Honda was, if they could rebuild it brand new to the spec the way it is. Um, I don't know. Part of the reason is because I know myself. This car is like this EG is beautiful, beautiful color. I think the owner also has a Datsun, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I mean, they're going for some prices that we're complaining about, but if they were to make them brand new, would you pay those prices? I mean, it'd be completely new. It'd be pretty, pretty cool uh, experience to be able to get something like that. Okay. So I think the mini trucks is, is like a mini truck theme. Usually they put them right in front of uh, the main um, event, right off the bat. One of my, my favorite cars of the meet, GSR. Wow. This thing is rare. This thing is rare. Holy macaroni. Absolutely love it. Wow. Good morning. Woo, yes. My favorite so far. Wow. OC racing wheels. ¿Qué pasó, canala? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Mira, te presento. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, ¿verdad? Me peiné y me vine. No, no lo he visto, ¿dónde está? Felicidades. Está chingón. Era, era un 240 o otra cosa más, una wagon o ese. Ese. Ahorita lo voy a ver. Ahorita paso, ahorita paso. Sí, sí, sí. Felicidades. Qué bueno. Uh, I was talking to Edu. Edu, uh, he takes some beautiful pictures, Carlos and Pick, on Instagram. But he, he just gave himself a very nice gift, which he just bought himself a 240Z. Um, hopefully we, we, we get around to it. There's a lot of cars. I'll try to make the effort. Man, this is the Adivia. Uh, I don't know how you call them. I forget. Um, but anyways, Edu just bought himself a car. Congratulations, senor. Uh, so cool to see people accomplish their dreams. And yeah, man, he's living the dream. I want a 240 as well. Very nice van. MRS. Wow. I wonder if this is Simon's. I don't know if this is Simon's. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's very nice. Another MRS. Who's this? Fun fact, I really like the MRS's a lot. Like, you guys have no idea. I really, really like them. Very cool builds. MR2. Ooh, supercharge. Wow, I'm sure it's fun. Let me see how I can get around. Very cool. Fender flares on 240. Um, I think. Well, first of all, I do. I do love them. Hey. We've seen this guy before and he's rally RSX. We had the privilege. We'll come back around, say hi to him off camera. Wow. 
Get it clean. 86s. Hachiroku. One of my good buddies just picked one up. And he's already modifying it. Hopefully we can take it out soon. Mr. Juan. Very nice work wheels on this Miata. Uh, I was saying about the Fender Flesh not 240. Uh, oh man, they're... I obviously obviously love the 240 uh, with fl uh, fender flares but I think the only way I would do that is if the car has some rust or previous damage because they're getting so hard to find that to cut it up it, it would be difficult um, I mean eventually I would get over it once I get the right fitment and everything but it would be difficult to cut up a, a very nice clean stock car beautiful stance on this Wow, Woo. that thing is gnarly, big body. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, look at these paint jobs. Oh my goodness, this orange just pops. Camera does not do justice, I'll tell you guys that much. So I wonder if this is like a stock 240 color, because it's the same color kind of I think it is man oh my goodness what kind of wheels are these I need to find out what wheels are these if I'm not mistaken oh man I think if I find the owner I'm gonna ask him because I think it's this is a Russian wheel um, I think love it four lug wow let me take a picture of it because these are the wheels that I almost ordered a long time ago. And um, yeah, I can't find them again. Super rad. Four lugger, BBK, very aggressive wheel. Oh, love that. Love it, love it, love it. Nice color on this Celica. get those Weber's beautiful setup wow oh nice very very nice man it's getting warm uh, it's like 10 in the morning it's already about 70 some degrees but a little bit of humidity LS swap beautiful man come <laughs> I love it. I definitely, I want to see if I can find that guy because uh, that truck is such a sleeper. Well, except for the fact that it sounds, you know, super aggressive. But, oh, wow. I want to definitely keep expanding to like trucks, mini trucks. I think that's going to be the next move for the channel. Not like mini trucks per se. Like I'm going to do 20 mini truck interviews, but I'm going to aim for something like that. Even low riders too. Some of you guys were mentioning that you guys want low riders. How cool is this little truck? And the little motorcycle on top. Look at that. Look at that stand. Love it. So we're back. So again, like this is the main area. So this is where they'll put the, the trucks that are, you know, the theme. You guys know how much I like mini trucks and doing the fab under it to make sure that it it's as low as possible. And I really like this generation truck. I'm definitely 100% more of a mini truck than a off-road or, you know, major trucks. Let me see. I'm just kind of skipping through this. There's quite a bit of people. Ooh, wow. Yes. Oh, nice. That's cool. Man. That's cool. I like that. Looks like he drifts it, so I really like that he has the bar on top. Very, very nice. Super cool. Here you go. Man, I like that a lot. Look at these clean setups. Very clean. Very nice. 
man kudos to these guys and ladies who own this car and built them like this is super rad look at that cut off everything to make it fit talk about suspension work ha. yes d8 oh my goodness oh shoot that's cool v8 lexus oh look at the cup holders um i guess out of steel make them look like exhaust tips i am too soon how rad is this oh wow a lot of work under the compressor super rad a lot of work done to this truck props local finesse I forgot the address to be out. Dope. Another Acti. I thought it was Acne. Like Acne, but no, it's Acti. Oh, this is manual. Oh, nice interior. Oh my goodness. These things are getting really, really popular. And then they put it in like the Rocket Bunny. I don't know if the Rocket Bunny uh, kit is in mass production. I think it is, but it got super popular. I know the Hoonigans build one. They put the Rocket Bunny, slammed it. It looked amazing. So definitely dancing bed. Obviously, this is done via hydraulics. How cool is this? Man, look at this work. Wow. Love it. Love that interior. Whew. Super 80s feel. 70, 80s feel. Cool touch on these wheels. Putting some Porsche wheels on the Nissan. Uh, one of my uncles had one of these type of trucks and I always always liked the interior I always liked the smell there was a certain smell to it I cannot explain what I mean <laughs> but those that know know and so yes like I mentioned we saw this one on the freeway in the previous video and this thing slaps man thing slam he yeah he was parking all over the 15 super cool look at talking about i like suspension and look at this i hit him up i don't know if he's interested in an interview it'd be super cool to be able to feature something like this but you know we'll see we'll be patient this is rad it would have been funny he put no regrets but it'd be funny if he would have misspelled it like on the movie no regrets dope this is super cool man a lot of cool different cars that um obviously the channel doesn't really feature as much we're mostly old school japanese um so to see these nissans and uh, this is a suzuki suzuki i don't know what the actual name of it i forgot but the suzuki is what these one-off paint jobs is super nice to see excuse me Wide body. <laughs> this thing packs a punch. You can just hear it. Ooh, I wonder what he has under that. Ooh, I don't know what he has under that hood, but it's it's pretty gnarly, I tell you. And he stayed for a look. I don't know if you guys noticed in the wheels. Very nice truck. Oh, something new. Something new slam. I really like this body. Um, I have no idea what, what year it is, but I actually like this. This is one of the few modern trucks that I like because they're still keeping that boxy look, you know? So that was the plan. And then once we're done with the photo shoot. Oh my goodness. Look at the sparkle on this. See if the sun captures it. Wow. Wow. Oh. so much work done to these trucks it's amazing the exotic cones exotic ones okay sorry I, I read it i was trying to see if it was like a spanish thing no it's the exotic ones socal 
exotic ones. Hey! Oh, look at those wheels. Beautiful paint job. That's cool. Wow. Very cool vibes. Excuse me. We've seen this truck at the um, Japanese classic car show. Beams, no problem, no worries, you know, it's just the beams hanging out and that's in 1600 Just added like triple the power that it came with originally super rad uh, Wow You guys know how much we love the 240s Are you good? Oh man Nice. Wow. Love it. This is the main organizer, the host. Beautiful. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I would pay over MSRP for a Datsun 240Z. Now, I wouldn't pay that for the 400Z, even though I really like it. And I think that's where they're headed. That's the conversation I was having. The Washington talk, where the car's originally sticker, I think, is at thirty-two, thirty-four thousand, the base. But it's probably gonna go for five, at least five over MSRP once it's said and done. I don't know what's coming out of that garage, but it sounds mean, and it is. Look at that. You wouldn't expect that from my little truck like that. Oh my goodness! Has some fat wheels in the back. Here we go. Boogies. That's for sure. Oh, like a theme with the door panels, like the livery. Yeah. Now this is painted. It's just cool. This is super painted. I don't know if this is tribute to one of the animes, Fair Lady, but this is cool. Really like the livery on it. It's something different. Hopefully nobody got pulled over. <laughs> no. Yay. Well, I'm not happy that there's an ambulance, you know, but at least it wasn't anybody getting pulled over. Wow, super clean. And these hard bodies, um, I get it. This one's a hard body. I don't know what you call this one, but very cool to see. Super nice. The car's making all the right sounds. Beautiful Dotson. I know we, we hit them up. Hopefully we can make it happen in the future for an interview. I don't know. I think this one's a deuce. I think. Don't quote me on it. I think this is a deuce. Just body and body very pristine condition. So congratulations on that, man. Felicidades, man. It's always nice to see people accomplish something they're set out to. Wagons, obviously, you guys know wagons, wagons, wagons. <laughs> I'll take a wagon over a Datsun truck any the day. Is just that it's like backwards. Get out of your way so you can take your time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so. Uh, what a great turnout uh yeah definitely the the theme was mini truck last month i can't recall but it was something along the lines of like rotary and so forth the little truck with the big punch just parked is grabbing a lot of attention let me see if i can sneak in there and get a little look for you guys <laughs> oh, okay well that that explains it k-series love it oh my god k-series with the mini cooper truck oh yes 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 oh man hopefully we can find the information on this owner i'll ask him if he'd be willing to interview because that, that is so badass um so on our recent trip to europe we absolutely fell in love with the idea of a little car um my wife is super on board with buying a little car now she even wanted herself a fit uh, a green olive fit i'm like <laughs> She's like, I've always liked them, but now that I'm here, like I, you know, in Rome, she, okay, so for those I mean, I know obviously my wife, um, uh, she's not into cars. She even took pictures and video of a Honda Fit in Rome. That should tell you that she definitely liked it. By the way, uh, for anybody who's new to the channel, you're probably wondering like, who's this guy who just talks about random stuff while looking at cars? Yes, that's, that's me. 
um, welcome to the channel I, I would say um, I don't know much about, about cars even though I've been interviewing car builders for three years I still get confused between a Civic and an Integra but I enjoy it oh man it's cool wheels reminds me of the last wheels that I had the SSRs Wow hey the EFs are over here they made it though they made it oh, this is cool Integra let's just move to the Integras bug eye definitely like it cool cool very nice um, oh this is much much uh, cooler so I'm definitely enjoying it on this side I'm really interested in that mini uh, mini truck or I guess I don't know what it, what what, is, what would be the right name Mini Cooper truck um, as a K series and so I think it's probably really 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 fun really fast um, Evo at one point my dream car not so much anymore but I still <laughs> appreciate them wagons in the Subaru why did they ever stop making them it's beyond me it's one of the most beautiful cars ever made definitely top top five wagons keeping the AC on trying to keep cool very nice white body very nice let me see if I don't I don't want to be in that guy's picture I definitely want to get a nice closer look to this car cool so um, yeah I definitely miss the, the GoPro just because it's so much easier to get in and out right We've seen this uh, chaser. So the chaser or the sorter, because I always get confused, and I don't want the owner to get mad, because I know. Long, I, I think as long as we don't call them Maxima, then they'll be fine. This is a chaser, I think. I think I've seen this car enough time to call it a chaser. I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but uh, yeah, as long as we don't call it a Maxima, then I think they're okay. Beautiful. Love the white wheels on this car. Not, not until I get a. So I'm more on the simplistic side. I just like to go and walk around, look at cars, especially like the Ford Luggers like this one. If I'm not mistaken, that's a 4x114 wheel, SSR. They're very hard to find. So every time I'm looking for wheels, I'm always keeping tabs on these 240 dudes because they keep the 4x114. I like to go five, right? Um, but that's the only other big chassis that will have 4x114 wheels, uh, which are very difficult to find. And I'm okay with, you know doing the hunt there's there, there has to be wheels out there that you know 4x114 that it just makes your car look different speaking of different my wife likes this color on 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 this chassis i'm like if we respray your car we can respray this color she's like eh i like the black but definitely a nice car um, honestly I, i'm not even trying to convince her to mod the car because um <laughs> and it becomes super unreliable and that's the only reliable car we have beautiful EF nice color combo uh, I think Miguel I could be butchering his name I know I'm butchering it I forgot his Instagram but he drives this car pristine he has some Mugen wheels as well so he alternates between the Mugen and the TEs both of them are great more Ford Luggers, 4x100. Obviously the EFs have all the the cool wheels and options. Anything 4x100 is gonna work because, yeah, I mean, that's the, the market. That's where everybody started building things for. I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is X, Xavier's car. Big body bends beautiful car. NSX you know disclaimer uh, I don't really love the NSX's they're cool cars amazing cars but not my top dream cars and I said that and I think somebody on the comment section was like oh that's what you say when you can't afford them I guess um, I also can't afford Ferraris and I don't like Ferraris so I don't know if that applies unless the only Ferrari I would ever want to own is a Ferrari F40. No, I cannot afford it at the moment.
but that's the only Ferrari I would want. But you know, newsflash to anybody that thinks that just because somebody doesn't like a car is because they can't afford it. I think I can afford a, a hard body, I think. The way its prices are going, though maybe not. Um, but it wouldn't be my top choice. Do I like them? Yes, especially with an SR Boosted. Yes, I love them. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. But you know, uh, people like different cars than, you know, than the traditional ones. So this is how we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it with the awesome Mini Cooper truck. K Series. I'm gonna see if he would be willing to interview. I'll see if I can get his Instagram. But this is amazing. Like I said, four lug. Wow. 30 minutes. If you guys, you know, stuck around for 30 minutes of this, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the real ones. This is how we're gonna finish it with this beautiful, beautiful truck. And um, I'll be see if I can get in contact with the owner and making this happen. Peace out, everyone.